poll from Reuters Ipsos indicates a majority of American adults, 64 percent, support cities reimposing mask mandates when COVID-19 cases surge in their area. While the nationwide transit mask mandate was overturned on Monday, the nation's largest county is still requiring masks at all airports and on all public transit. Los Angeles County issuing a new order, which took effect yesterday, requiring transit masking for anyone age two and over. This coming soon after Philadelphia reimposed a mask mandate on Monday, only to reverse course and drop the requirement just days later. Masks are also still required on trains and subways in New York City, though with all of the frequent policy changes, you probably can't blame writers if they don't know that. News Nation Steve Kouge tries to clear up the confusion. I'll tell you, when it comes down to a root of bait, New York City is probably the trickiest place to know whether or not you have to wear a face mask. Here's what I mean by that. If you're flying into the city, you don't need to have a face mask on when you're on the plane. But as soon as you land at JFK LaGuardia airports and walk through them, you need to have that face mask back on. If you're in an Uber or Lyft ride driving around the state, like up at the capital of Albany, you don't need that mask. But as soon as your vehicle gets into the New York City limits, that mask has to go right back on. Here at Grand Central Terminal, people that come from all over the world and they're finding it's a pretty difficult situation. From the ground to the sky, many say there's never been more confusion over whether they need to wear a face mask or not. Just moved actually two months ago from the south where it's like not mandatory at all. So yeah. it's kind of, you know, big shock. After a U.S. district judge in Florida ruled that the federal face mask mandate did not have to be followed anymore, the masks started coming off across the country. Major U.S. airlines are some of the first to let passengers go mask free. You won't need them if you're on the plane, but you definitely will need your mask if you're walking through certain airports like New York's LaGuardia and JFK airports. Amtrak trains also made masks optional. But if you're taking an MTA, Long Island Railroad, or PATH train, subway, or bus, don't drop that mask. They're still required. I do know you still have to wear it on the train. But I mean, on trains and planes, those are the places you need to take the mask off, right? Things get even more confusing if you're using Uber and Lyft rides. Both companies allow you to go mask free unless you're in New York City, where the masks are still required inside all rideshare vehicles. That includes taxis as well. For some people, the differences are tricky to keep up with. It's a lot more stressful for sure. I always have to have a mask in like every jacket I have just in case they ask me to put one on. Others don't have a problem at all. I think the messaging is very clear when they say when you're here, you have to wear a mask and when you're in a different jurisdiction or someone else is making the decision, then you don't have to wear a mask based on what they're deciding. As you can see, there is a lot to keep track of with face masks and to add another level of confusion, things could be changing all over again because the U.S. Department of Justice and the CDC are actively working to reinstate that federal mask mandate. Obviously, we're juggling a lot here and it can be difficult to follow, so please stick with News Nation. We'll see you through it. At Grand Central Terminal in Manhattan, I'm Steve Kuj, News Nation. Back to you, Ruta Bay. All right. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.